Welcome at GLH. We are here in our testing center where we demonstrate and show all of our machines for our customers and today we are going to zoom in in a certain specific model. The first machine that I'm going to highlight in our automatic straight cutting machines it's our H320 Pro. It's basically our bread and butter machine. It's the machine that we sell the most, that we produce the most and we produce it in batches. Uh, here in the factory in large amount and large quantity uh, uh, um, and large series basically. Um, so I'm very happy that I can uh, finally let you see uh, what I call my baby um, because it's now completely foreseen with CE fencing like I like it. Um, so basically I want to zoom in a little bit on this model. Um, and let you see what is possible uh, with this automatic straight cutting saw. So when I open the door, uh, we made it again user and service friendly. Then I can show you that you recognize again the double column, the main big column to support the complete weight of the saw frame again. And on the back side, there's a small column that basically guides the saw uh, frame down. Um, cast iron parts that we use, uh, the slide uh, um, sleeve on the, uh, for chromed, uh, on the chrome column, the two guide arms, also cast iron parts, the guide seats, cast iron parts, and then the fixed front vise and the back vise, uh, which is double retractable, and also on the other side, the cast iron parts for the vises. The guide seat is movable again manually, so as close as possible to the material and also avoid collision with the front vise. So basically when you move it a little bit, close it back down again, hand tight, then uh, basically you have the perfect setting to make a clean cut. Changing the blade, um, open the front cover, open the right cover with the gas spring, open the left cover with a gas spring. So basically you open the two guide seats manually so the blade is loose and then on this side you have here the tension cylinder and this tension cylinder basically you can detension the blade and you can take the blade off. Because it's a 34 millimeter blade it's very easy to change the blade. Let's say experienced operators should do it in 10 minutes within 10 minutes. For this model, a very recognizable, very specific is the see-through windows. So basically these windows with PVC um, make sure that basically what happens with the automatic saw you can always see and um, it's fully around with windows and um, what is actually very nice what we did um, we of course unscrewed this uh, door uh, but basically we made a door that makes sure that you can always enter it the moment that you need to do service or cleaning or whatever because it's screwed uh, it's completely following the rules uh, of the CE uh, because there's a maintenance key over there. When you turn off the maintenance key, then means that the machine is shut down and that you're doing the maintenance, you take the key off, you unscrew the door and then you go in. It's also explained, well explained in the manual of course, but I'm just pointing it out that this door is basically made on both sides on the left side and on the right side, which I'm going to show you later, um, yeah, to easily enter the saw and still comply according to the safety rules. Um, coolant system, central coolant system is over here. Very easy to reach, easy to maintain. Um, as well, on the top you have a cover that you can take off to clean or fill the system. But also here, when the coolant pump dies or whatever, or needs to be cleaned, there's a filter, a core filter that goes over the coolant filter. You can easily unscrew it and clean it. 
Also very recognizable is the cylinder behind the big column over there. The gearbox, it's a 5 kilowatt motor, direct drive inside. Like on all our gearboxes you can read basically the gearbox oil. Um, if it's dirty, not dirty, needs to be replaced or not be replaced. Um, and if everything is okay. For the length measurement, uh, the shuttle vise has a stroke of 500 millimeter. Again, you see here the rollers that help the material to roll inside the bed. And basically two big um, uh, chrome bars that make sure that the shuttle vise is well guided and underneath this cover you find the hydraulic cylinder that pushes basically the shuttle vise from back to front. For the length measurement, I want to show you here. For the length measurement, for the length measurement again, the magnetic tape that is inside with the sensor, very accurate and of course our box uh, aluminum box to protect everything for dirt and chips. Um, yeah, for the rest underneath, the only thing that you find here is the hydraulic motor and the hydraulic pump. It's well cooled, it has an old fan uh, to make sure that everything stays cool. Um, if you want to do maintenance or you need to replace the fan or the filter of the fan uh, for service or maintenance, then you just remove the cover and um, you yeah, let the technician or your operator do what he needs to do. Showing you a functionality, um, uh, every H Pro series and H Pro Plus series uh, and also our C M N C series uh, or S M N C series um, shows basically uh, the end of material function and also the double retracting cylinder. So I'm also wanting to show you here the double retracting cylinder. So basically the moment the saw is on the front, the material is at position, the, the vise goes open on both sides to avoid that it takes or scrapes against banded material, material that is not so straight. Um, so also on this side, as well as on that side. So it opens up on both sides, then goes back and grabs the material back again. Another functionality is the end of material detection inside the vise. So the moment the material end is, um, is detected, uh, uh, is clamped, excuse me, then the limit switch behind this is going to be uh, pushed. The moment the end of the bar or the material is there, this um, plate is going to be out. The li limit switch on the back of it is going to be activated and then we know that it's the end of the material. Something that is well known also for uh, other manufacturers, but very important to mention that this machine has it standard on board. On the other side of the machine, we have again a service cover. Again, you can easily enter the machine and see what is uh, possible. The top clamp, it's an option. The machine is already prepared for it uh, to take the top clamp or not. These are the quick step connections and also the safe stow uh, place for the top clamp. The moment you need it or you don't need it, it's easily to put on, to put off, uh, as well for the front side as for the back side. When we zoom in on the hydraulic unit, uh, the hydraulic unit, uh, 24 volts, the manifold is here. Um, like I explained previously, the hydraulic pump and the motor are behind this, uh, this cover and you see the main pressure on the hydraulics here. With the door it makes life easier to uh, do maintenance on the saw, so um, yeah, when a valve breaks down or a coal breaks down you can easily do the maintenance from here. Uh, just uh, take the service key so the machine cannot be put on and um, go inside, do your job, unscrew the door of course, go inside, do your job, screw the door back in again, put the service key back and then you, you are up and running. So um, yeah, basically uh, uh, very easy to maintain in this way and very accessible. Um, something else that I want to point out is the 
the tension gauge here. Um, you can read the tension on the back of the saw. It's something that is on all our H Pro series, so uh, and also the Pro Plus series. So you can read the tension of the tension cylinder for the blade tension uh, on the back side of the machine. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was it for uh, for this saw. So let's take a look on the electrical cabinet and on the control system. An option that I certainly don't want to forget is uh, the vice pressure regulation. So when you have material that is thin walled, uh, you don't want to deform it, or chrome bars, um, or material that you don't want to scratch, then with, uh, these, uh, vice with this vice pressure regulation, you can regulate the pressure in the vices. Um, so you have the pressure of the front vice and the pressure of the back vice. So basically one and two. Um, and with one twist of a button, you can lower it down um, and decrease it uh, to the value that you The electrical cabinet again, main switch, turn it off, lockable electrical cabinet, you open it like this and um, yeah what we see here is uh, basically uh, our Inovens PLC with all German components or components from manufacturers that are uh, globally known. Well labeled, readable in the electrical schematics and, uh, and also on the components in the field, it's the same. Um, so yeah, very clean electrical uh, cabinet. Want to zoom in a little bit on the control panel. Control panel, very big GLH. Uh, touchscreen um, combined with the buttons again electrical power um, light on and off manual mode automatic mode hydraulics on hydraulics off start the saw stop the saw saw bow up saw bow down shuttle vice open and closing front vice open and closing and basically shuttle vice to the front shuttle vice to the back Slow mode, quick mode, and because of CE, the reset button. Um, the maintenance key, so the moment I turn this key, you cannot operate anything anymore. So the service technician takes this key with him the moment he does the service and the maintenance. And very recognizable, our typical electro-hydraulic uh, feeding button that we can control to uh, increase or decrease the feed rate. Looking on the touch screen, when you have the startup screen um, and you put the power on the machine, this is the first screen you see, our beautiful factory. Um, you click to enter the system and then uh, with the button automatic manual mode you can choose the automatic mode or the manual mode um, and basically this uh, AI operation is well explained in our AI video uh, so I would recommend you to, to watch that video the link is going to be posted in this video click on it and uh, the moment we mention AI for automatic sauce you can look at that video and have a well explained uh, explanation on the functionality of the sauce